In this video, I'm going to discuss and explain how to keep your shoulders closed through impact with a primary focus on the idea of the back shoulder wanting to overtake the front shoulder in the downswing. So everything we do is about the setup position. And once you lock in the setup position, if you truly maintain stillness, well then everything will work out as it's meant to. But let's address this back shoulder because some students get to this point in the swing and once they get here, they don't understand how to get through to impact. And there's this, there's this gray area from here through impact that can become difficult when the backside of your body is dominating the swing. But what it comes down to is this. It comes down to adhering to stillness. If you truly adhere to stillness, well then once you get to this point and my shoulder can't come forward, well, what must you do? What must occur? And that's part of this process here. You know, I'm teaching you how to become a forward dominant player where the forward side of your swing dominates the swing. So that means there's a conflict of interest here. Your backside wants to work this way. This is how it naturally works. Your front side wants to work this way. This is how it naturally works. So the adaptation must become that the backside learns how to submit to the front side. And the way you're going to do that is by simply running a drill that's just like this. So in the downswing, you get to this point, you've maintained stillness. If you feel like at this point, you can't continue that stillness through impact, all you have to do is force it upon yourself to hold the position of your shoulders. And as you do that, you're gonna run into the idea of, well, if you can't do that to get to the ball, then how else are you going to get to the ball? And it's simply like this. You know, if the right side feels like you can't get through the ball, then what I want you to do is figure out the way that the right side can get to the ball. Because when the right side's telling you, your backside's telling you, hey, I can't reach the ball. That's merely your right side or your backside impeding your progress. So let's overwhelm that. Let's overwhelm that and run a drill that looks like this. So when you get to this point here, instead of just allowing your right shoulder to come forward and meeting the ball this way, which would be incorrect, what I want you to do is hold the position of your body and let your arms continue to run. And as your arms continue to run, you realize, oh wow, there is a way that my right hand can get through the ball, that my right side can get through the ball without having to come forward and change the path and foul the swing. So the drill is this. Once you get to this point, what I want you to do is maintain the stillness of your shoulders, allow your arms to run, and if you have to let go with your, your back arm or your right arm, then that's fine. Because your forward side loves doing this. Your forward side is meant to do this. So as you get to this point, if you have to release your hand, release your hand. But then, very slowly, start to adapt to it. As you recognize, well, this is how my left hand's gonna work through, what must your right hand do in order to maintain that same, and, and not maintain, but respect that position? Well, I get to here, I let my left hand go through and I let my right hand off. Now I'm gonna let my right hand hang on and you start to realize that there is a way for your right side to be able to get through the ball without having to rotate or open on the downswing by simply letting stillness and this closed position teach you that there is this route here that you can maintain. Now it's a different route than you might be used to because traditionally in golf you're taught to fire with your right side and rotate your body through and that's what changes the path and that's what changes consistency in your action and will also change contact, it'll change direction. But instead, if you adapt to the idea that you must remain in this position, and as you get to this point here, as the club comes through, you realize that, that the way that your right side's going to allow you to get through the ball is not by coming forward, but merely by staying back and allowing the, the right side to remain supportive the whole way through. Now you can see here, I'm well past impact, but I've kept this right side back. And that's because I'm very familiar with using my front side in the swing. But you can run a drill that will teach you how to do the same thing. 
So if you get to here and you feel stuck and you feel like you can't get to the ball or through the ball without rotating, what I want you to do is just hold this platform, allow the club to continue on, and you're gonna find that there is a very specific way that you can get through. And that specific way is where the right side maintains its supportive position, while the left side maintains its dominant position. And look what we get here. We get this really strong left arm, and we get this really supportive right arm. It's just a matter of having the nerve and taking the time to slowly learn how the club can get through the ball without you having to rotate your body through the ball. So operate through stillness. It's the reason why I force stillness upon you in the position. If you truly maintain stillness in the position, then your arms are going to conform to the task that's required of you. So operate from stillness and let your arms learn how they can get through the ball without having to rotate the body.